Hey, there's a lot of current over there. So this is the Roanoke River, huh? Well, 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 what is going on, fellas? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay in this wonderful and beautiful winter out there. As you guys saw on the YouTube channel, the Connecticut slash Rhode Island trip that I did last week wasn't um, so productive. So hopefully this week's trip is going to be better. I am currently in Roanoke, Virginia. Arrived yesterday night, pretty late as a matter of fact. And I'm going to be fishing three days over here pretty hard. Today being the first day. So to begin the adventure here in Virginia, a uh, western side of Virginia, right? I thought, why not hit the Roanoke River in Roanoke? <laughs> get, get what I'm saying? So the main objective of this video is pretty much for me to explore this very intimidating river, the current here. It is pretty fast. And try to catch as many different species as possible, right? I'm praying to the fishing gods that I will be able to land something at all right most of the species in this ecosystem here would be new species for me so let's get the exploring started and first things first let's try to find a productive spot for me to set up my stuff check this out now huh, folks this roanoke river system is truly for beautiful beautiful but the thing is you can't really fish places like this you know not only it is too fast it is way too shallow. I mean, maybe there are some types of darters around here and things like that, but without sight fishing for them, <laughs> I don't know how that will go. If the water level was lower, I would like to emphasize that the water level is a little bit higher because of rains that were around this area recently. So if the water level was lower, maybe you would be able to wait a little bit and kind of sight fish for it. But yeah, right now it's like, not a chance i'm just gonna keep moving upstream after walking a good one mile up the river i finally found this little spot over here where i just set up two fishing rods um, the current over here is still fast but because the creek i mean the river over here is a little bit wider you see you got real fast current right here on this side you can see it from the gopro and then right in front of me over here right it slows down a lot it has a pocket of water that is a little bit deeper i'm going to fish over here maybe for about an hour see if anything shows up and if nothing i'm going to move spots again that is 100 percent a bite that's a fish here we got a fish here fish on first fish of roanoke come here boy first fish of Roanoke, Virginia. And what is it? It may just be a new species. Dude, this is a new species, 100%. Let me get the fish tank. Oh, hell yeah. First fish of our Roanoke, Virginia series. If it is a potential new species. Now, is it really a new species? I'm not so sure, okay? At first glance, I would say that this is definitely some type, some species of chub in the Nokomis genus. Now, the problem of the fish in the Nokomis genus is that there are two of them around the area that are very similar to one another. One of them I already have on my life list. It is the river chub, the, Nokomi, the Nokomis micropogon. The other one, which is potentially a lifer, which is also in the Roanoke River, is the bluehead chub. Either that or it's called the blue-headed chub, the Nokomis leptocephalus. And I'm really not so sure which one this is. So what I did is I took shots of the anal fin, I took shots of the fish, and now I'm going to release it. Later, when I go back to Philly or I post it on Instagram, someone will probably tell me what this is. But you know what? Hey, I'm happy that I'm out here and one fish actually showed up and it is a potential lifer. You know what I'm saying? Pretty different than the creek chub, right? That I usually catch in the Northeast. It swam away. It's strong. Dude, there's fish in this 
in this in this river. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit on this rod over here. 100% fish. We got a hit. Now the piece of worm that I have on this rod is pretty big. So <laughs> I don't know if the fish actually got it or not, but that was 100% a bite and not trash. I saw it vibrating. Man, this is unbelievable. It is quite tough fishing out here today because there's so much trash flowing down the... Oh, I got something. Oh my goodness gracious. I thought it wasn't on. What is this? Some type of mystery shiner. Dude, it's going to the photo tank right now. Why is it that this looks like a spot tail shiner? And look at the piece of the crawler in comparison to the shiner. This looks exactly like a spot tail shiner, which is a species of fish that I already have, the Notropis hudsonius. But just in case, I'm gonna put it in the tank and uh, dang, I can't believe it actually tried to eat that night crawler. You know what is the thing that truly fascinates me over here? This is 100% a spot tail shiner, the Notropis hudsonius. It is not my first one of the year because if you guys watch my videos, you know that I caught one of these earlier this year in New Jersey. And there are so many species of shiner in this particular river that I don't have yet on my life list. And the spot tail shiner is the one that showed up on a piece of night crawler that was like this big, right? I'm putting bigger pieces of night crawler because there are also many different types of suckers. In this, in this ecosystem that I don't have yet, so I want to catch one. Well, that was the second fish of the day, regardless. At least something is biting, so that is good. Wow, this one was biting all the time. Let's see if there's anything on it. Oh, looks like there's something on it. There's something on it. Yay, what we got here? Oh, dude, I think it is another one of the stuff that we caught earlier today. <laughs> I think it is another one of those weird chubs that I'm not so sure if it is the river chub or the bluehead chub. But I tell you what, though, this fish does not have blue on its face. None whatsoever. I just took photos for this sample over here. It's got seven anal fin rays, just like the first one that we caught. I took plenty of shots of this fish, especially giving emphasis to the head of the fish, how blunt it is actually in the front. So I'm really not so sure which species of chub these are yet, but eventually I am going to find out. For now, it is either river chub or the blue head chub. That is fascinating. I just got new water for the photo tank. And uh, I think I just got a bite on this rod again. Actually, I don't know if that's... Oh, no, no, that, that looks like fish, dude. That does not look like trash flowing down. Let me just... Uh... Oh, it's on. Boy, it's on. Kind of sent it to heaven. Don't tell me it's another one of those. You've got... You've got to be kidding me. How many of them are down there? Don't tell me these things kind of screw up like Crick Chub. Wow, dude, this is like the third one of the day. I'm trying to catch some different species here, but wow, okay. These Chubs are showing up in, in major numbers over here. Not that I'm not happy to see them, mind you, but I would be very happy if something else kind of, yeah, uh, showed up at this point, you know? This one looks exactly the same as the last two, so I'm not even gonna take photos of this one really. I'm just gonna throw it back there. Bye bye. <laughs> There's got to be something different down there. So, as far as I keep casting my stuff down there, I'm really hoping, you know, some new species are going, are going to show up. Even though that itself is a potential new species, but I kind of forgot my Peterson guideline to freshwater fishes uh, back in Philadelphia. You know, that is a book in fishing, fish identification for freshwater species in the United States of America that I highly recommend to people out there. So now that I need it, 
I don't really have it with me. But, however, thanks to the wonders of the internet, I was able to kind of Google it up and I just checked the meristics. Bluehead Chub apparently has eight anal fins and River Chub seven. All the samples that I have caught today so far from this river had seven anal fins. So that is not a new species for me. But I mean, you know, the good news is that at least I'm not getting skunked so far, right? The action has been okay out here. There are still possibilities to catch some new species of suckers, shiners, and whatever. I don't know, it's my first time fishing the Roanoke River, you know what I'm saying? So let me get back to fishing, maybe change the spots, we will see what happens. <sighs> oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, I just walked about two and a half miles up the river and I just wanted to give you guys a view of the river over here. Let me put you on top. Look at the river from this location here. Do you guys see it? The river is much wider, although you guys can see from the GoPro and the current over here is almost non-existent in comparison to the spots that I hit earlier today, right? So the main goal for now is for me to kind of go down from this place and try to find an access point for the next spot in this video. Uh, there's still some current, of course. Man, I really want to try to catch some of those suckers that I don't have yet, you know? <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, found a little opening over here. Just got to make sure that the soil over here doesn't sink too much. It's always dangerous, always dangerous when the soil sinks. Let me cast all the way out there because I want to see how deep this place is. Oh, okay. It's reasonably, it's reasonably deep. I like that. Let's see if there's any fish around here. I'm going to give it maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Got something? Got something on the... No, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. On the Anisoptera, you are kidding me. Third species of the strip from the Roanoke River in Virginia is the green fish. <laughs> the largemouth bass, man. The Micropterus <laughs> salmoides. Mm, definitely not a new species man and i don't think this is anything different to tell the truth i think this is just really a, a large mouth bass i don't even know if there are other species of bass or not in the roanoke river system but hey man there you have it little bass Oh, I got a hit already. Got a hit on size 18. On the size 18 hook and little worms. The fish may be on. This is right here, my friends, the size 18 hook. Because I really wanted to find out what the, these little shiners wear. What we got here. Oh, yes. Those were the shiners that were biting. And it turns out to be, you have got to be, no, spot tail shiner. I tell you what, man, I'm sorry, buddy, but now you are officially cut bait. This dude is officially cut bait because it is a little bit deeper over here. You never know, man. Cut bait may just land on something different, right? Hmm, let me check the time real quick here. It is... 2 13 p.m right now i've been fishing since the morning quiet folks very quiet not only civilization quiet because nobody really passes in this trail over here i'm like a few miles away from the city right but i had a few bites here that you guys saw the spot tail shiner bites right very little taps and I landed one little large mouth bass from over here and that was it. I haven't gotten a single bite ever since. I got a cut bait and worm on that one. I got a smaller worms and hooks on this one and, uh, and nothing. So I'm going to move to one more spot 
before the end of the day in hopes that, you know, move a little bit, right? Maybe there's something else in hopes that a new species shows up. All the interesting spots that we have been to today, this one right here is definitely the one that is most fascinating. What is this exactly? It's just rocks over here on the river. But this spot just looks very, very juicy for micros and daughters, right? If there are some micros or daughters around here. Folks, folks, this is some weird stuff. The Roanoke River definitely got me puzzled, I have to say. By the book, this is one of those type of spots that when you come to, there's at least some type of fish around. You know what I'm saying? It's like rocks everywhere, right? So, I mean, you just know that around the rocks and the structure, there, there has to be some fish, right? Either micros or game fish. I run an Eurotaco jig, nothing. Now I'm running an EP series inline spinner, nothing. I've been watching for micros over here, like little shiners, nothing. And daughters. There are supposed to be many different types, species of daughters over here that I don't have yet on my list, nothing. This is, I, I'm perplexed. I'm just puzzled because this is spot so juicy. How can you have? Nothing. I tried over there too on, in the deep water, like seven to eight feet. Nothing. <sighs> Roanoke River is, is, is getting me puzzled. Got one. Yes, there is a fish here. <sighs> People think I'm crazy, but there's a fish here. <sighs> What is it? It's a red breast sunfish. It's a red breast sunfish. Okay, the Lepomis auritus. Oh man, let me sit over here for a moment just to kind of get an idea of what is going on here at this spot. I was just trying for daughters. I was trying for daughters, folks. And this guy right here showed up, huh? The red breast sunfish. My first one of 2020 as a matter of fact beautiful sample hey it is not really a daughter but at least i know now that the technique that i'm going to be using which is you know putting the worm next to the rocks and stuff actually works right because this fish came from under a rock and annihilated my worm so that's that's a good thing that's a good sign you know if if this fish came from under a rock a daughter May as well do the same, right? So there you have it. My first ever sunfish from the Roanoke River. Got something! It's another red breast. <laughs> okay, okay. The plan is working. I'm punching the, the worm under the little rocks and fish are coming out of it. Now, when is my super colorful, mysterious daughter going to show up, right? That's, that's the main question. So That's what I'm looking for. So, man, go down there and tell the daughters to come, okay? Dude, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what to say. I mean, you watch the video. You watch the video. You got, you got to give me 10 out of 10 for effort. You know what I'm saying? But but the Roanoke River, it feels like the Roanoke River has been playing with me the whole day. You know what I'm saying? I come over here, try to get a, a, a blue head chub. The river gives me river chub. And then I'm like, all right, fine, you know? I go, I try to catch some shiners, right? New species. The river gives me a spot tail shiner. And then I just punched for one hour over here, the rocks, the structure, to try to catch all the darters that I don't have yet, the river gives me red breast sunfish. And then as an added bonus, just the tip, the top, you know, the cherry on the top, 
that's what I wanted to say, you know? Instead of giving me a sucker as an added bonus that I don't have yet on my species list, what does the river give me? A large mouth bass. Four species I've pulled from this river today. I already have all of them. In a certain sense, I am feeling a little bit miserable, you know? But then, on the other hand, I did grind pretty hard. I tried different spots and, you know, it just didn't happen. The experience, per se, was be was wonderful, you know? I came to a new river, right? A very beautiful habitat here, beautiful ecosystem. But man, I just did not figure out the Roanoke River today. This is it for this video. This is day one of my stay here in Roanoke. Hopefully, the, the, the other places that I'm going to be exploring in the next few days are going to be a little bit more generous towards extreme fillet fishing, right? Because, you know, so far it's like what I want. And then what the river gives me is like... <sighs> So yeah, folks, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Tie lines and take it easy.